Lights, camera, action. A gambling scene of China in the 1930s, shot at a moneyed movie capital. No, we're not talking about Hollywood, but Beijing, home to one of the biggest studios in the world. Chinese movies can be just as good as any, says this executive. China is now the second biggest movie market behind the U.S. Eight new screens open here every day, attracting top Hollywood filmmakers like James Cameron, whose 3D blockbuster Avatar was a box office smash here. It's the increase in the standard of living and the growth of the, of the middle class here. The cinema experience is perceived as something special. Hollywood is struggling back home, so studios are fighting for a future here, producing movies like Iron Man 3 and Looper, a film full of A-list actors shot with Chinese partners. What you're able to do with these kinds of films is you're able to say, hey, I'm here. I'm not just using China as a distribution point. You're actually saying, come into our process. The problem is China wants to control the rules of the game. Beijing has grown wary of Western influences here, and it's keen to get China's view and its history on the silver screen. Already in China, movies are censored, including Men in Black 3, where censors chopped out these scenes showing Chinese as alien villains. The concern is Beijing's heavy hand could creep into co-productions and even lead to self-censorship among Hollywood players hoping to capture the market here. A negative portrayal of a Chinese character can be shown if it's an intrinsic part of the story, he says. But if the movie intentionally belittles the Chinese people, then of course we would censor that. Despite some recent loosening, Beijing also restricts the number of foreign films, as it aims to build its own version of Hollywood. Some say the growing ties allow China to cherry-pick U.S. techniques. The question is, can the Chinese film industry grow to an extent that it makes movies directly for the rest of the world? You see what I mean? It becomes a direct competition to Hollywood. For now, a tall bet for a government still obsessed with crafting its own script. Eunice Yoon, CNN, Beijing.